Hello, welcome to Brady's Straight Talk. It is May 21st, 2021. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. So, you guys know I've been in my research of trying to understand the prions, spike protein, the mag dot 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 nets, and how they're attaching to people after they're getting the jab. And you know I have to watch what I say or I'll get another strike. So, I'm learning that this prion thing is basically an accumulated effect after you get the jab, which is causing the spike pro dot 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 teen because people who have had blood work before, they're not finding that protein, right? So I don't know how I come across some of the stuff I do, but it just, I guess it's the universe saying here, you need to show them this. So just watch this for a couple of minutes. It comes from a Warren Ellis comic, Dr. Sleepless. This group are the ones making custom implants and testing them out on themselves. Many of them hang out, or at least got started, on the biohack.me forums, and that, in fact, that's where I got started. A lot of the people there dream of being cyborgs one day, so it comes as no surprise that they wanted a tangible way to take a step forwards towards that, even if it's a small one. Enter what is basically everyone's entry to this weird and wonderful world, magnet implants. The idea here is pretty straightforward. Magnets, in the presence of either an electromagnetic field or ferrous material, move around. If you implanted a magnet somewhere with lots of nerve endings, you should be able to actually feel that motion. Brains are amazing things, and are a lot more plastic than we give them credit for. The idea was that if this magnet was there long enough, your brain would learn to interpret these new signals like a new sense. People set out to try it and see what would happen. Sure enough, it works very well, and over a year ago I made my first video about my first magnet implant. However, I've learned a lot since then, and since I was getting a new magnet, I thought it was time for an updated video. Let's talk about what makes this possible. First off, you can't just implant any old magnet. The magnet needs to be a neodymium rare earth magnet rated at N52, which is the strongest permanent magnet type on the market. The actual material is highly sensitive to oxidation, so magnets are typically coated in a layer of nickel to protect the material from air. Unfortunately, nickel is highly reactive to body chemistry and would cause a nasty reaction if implanted. A secondary coating is needed to make the magnets biocompatible. There are a whole host of options, and lots have been tried over the years. The main characteristics of a good coating is that it's biosafe, strong, and isn't easily damaged, lasts without cracking, and is as thin as possible. Some popular options include silicones like PDMS, ceramics like titanium nitride, metals, usually gold, and organic compounds like perylene or polyethylene. All of these have their pros and cons. Silicone has the benefit of being able to be spray coated, but the layers tend to be thick, so the magnets are usually pretty bulky. Titanium nitride is great because it's extremely hard and very biocompatible, but has plagued magnet makers due to the difficulty of getting a perfect coating. Gold is cheap, and many have taken to gold plating their magnets, but this should really be avoided. Gold is too soft, and the coating is easily damaged, though it'll work for the short term. Finally, perylene requires specialized equipment to apply, but is otherwise cheap to have made, and unlike the other coatings, it actually adheres to the surrounding tissue, helping to hold the magnet in place. The main issue is that it's rather delicate and tends to crack after a year or two after being planted. So, what to use? Well, a multi-layer coating is really the way forward. By layering titanium nitride and perylene, you deal with the cracking problems of both materials and have extra layers for added safety. For the truly paranoid, you can even throw in a layer of gold in there. Now, where do you get one of these? Well, our batch was custom ordered, but many magnet making companies will happily make a batch for you, but you need to be willing to buy in bulk. Other than that, there are groups that sell coated magnets, though supply varies wildly. A quick further note about magnet strength. Anything less than N52 will have greatly diminished effects, as was found out by those who implanted earlier generations of magnets. So only go for the N52 magnets. Anything else simply isn't worth the time. Okay, so we have our magnets. Where can we put them? Well, we really only have two good choices. Hands and ears. Of the two, the former provides much more utility and is what will be covered in this video. The reason somebody may choose to go for ears instead, and specifically in the tragus, the little flap of skin and cartilage in the middle of the ear, is that instead of feeling the electromagnetic fields, you can hear them in some very specific circumstances. God, would you want to hear them? I mean, everybody lately is, my ears are ringing, I'm having anxiety, the hospitals are full of people with heart problems because of all the EMFs and the radio frequencies that are all around us right now that I warned everybody about. What? 14 months ago, 15 months ago, it's, it's pretty intense. 
I personally wouldn't want one in my ear. I do know, however, this is this video was made, you know, three or four years ago. I just want to let you guys know that this is possible. You know, so many people are like, it's not possible, Bridie, that there would be mag da 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 nets in my bod after getting a jab. Um, yeah, it is possible. And then you have to think about the, the gel that's in it as well with the nanotech. You know, there's a lot of people right now talking about people are about ready to start, they're just going to start dropping. And then on Logic Before Authority, he was talking about, I guess he's getting people writing into his show, and they're talking about seeing serious behavioral issues from people that they're assuming got the jab, and that it seems like there's almost like a zombie effect going on. I have personally not seen that, except, <laughs> you know, when all this started and they told everybody they had to wear their face coverings and... They had to all, you know, stay away from each other. People became zombies and it was terrifying. And it was more, it was even more than the zombies that you see that, you know, just watch TV and play video games all the time. I mean, this was a very severe, this was serious psychological warfare. And you have to understand that we have people that run everything that don't like us. I got asked last night, Bridie, who are the Tards? Okay, the Tards are... The Rockefellers, the the Kissingers, you know, and those are just the names that we know of, right? Gates, all that stuff. We know those names, but Billy Boy, I should say. Uh, there's there's names that we don't know about. Some people do, but and I actually knew a couple of names before, but I don't remember them now, you know, because I always hear these same names. The bankers, they're up there. They have their money. Um, they have our money. This whole system is a lie. And I just marvel that so many can't see it. That so many are wrapped up still in drama and lying and manipulations and playing the games with their friends and, and hurting people and being deceptive. And why can't people see it for what it really is? You know, people even stuck in their indoctrinations. I usually use Star Page, guys. Uh, we had to redo my computer yesterday, but usually you'll see start pages, my search engine. I don't usually use Google, but I was talking to my new friend yesterday and the indoctrination of religion, it's just so ingrained, you know, and I've, I've done this with people before. It's, it's exhausting because, and he, he even kept saying, he goes, this is my foundation. This is all I know. This is all I know. I'm like, dude, it is time for that ascension process to begin and it would be beginning if people weren't getting that is why the veil is thin this is your guys's chance to get out of here not to watch tv not to get caught up in all the drama bullshit not to be of this place to rise above this place and believe me i know you guys are tired i'm tired too all of this that we're telling you guys about, it is real. Stop letting them control your reality and wake up. We have a serious situation here. It's like um, you see those charts where the red is the danger. That's when the bomb's going to hit. We are in the red. People have got to get away from their programming and they've got to open their minds and they've got to start seeing things for what they really are. You can put magnets in your body. I just proved it. Okay, and that's from a video from 2017 from young people that want to become robots. They want to be a part of the transhumanism program. They want that. Do you guys want that? Do you want to lose the little tiny bit of what you guys call as God, I call as spirit, from you? Because literally, we are looking at a situation where everybody that got this, their pineal gland is going to go straight to mush. And it was already close to being that, just adding fluoride to the water and making people use it for toothpaste and uh, the pharmaceuticals, a lot of the psycho psychotropic drugs carry the fluorides in them and it, it's like a very concentrated form. 
Fluoride kills your pineal gland, which kills your connection to the light, the true source. I hate looking at this Google thing. Let's see if we can, I don't want you guys staring at that while I'm talking. Oh, that's pretty. That's much better. In order to get out of here, you guys have got to get your pineal gland decalcified. But not only that, don't get the jab. Just don't get the jab. Don't get tested. I showed a year ago the things that we thought were being put in those tests that were being put in the blood-brain barrier. It was terrifying. And people were standing in lines to get a test that tests for everything. And what was I told? Oh, yeah, my hairstylist. You know, Marty, you wouldn't believe it, but the flu's gone. <laughs> the flu's gone. It's just gone. I'm like, wow, because I know I can't say anything to her. I'll flip her out. I'm like, that's amazing. I wonder how that happened. She goes, I guess it's because of the one-niner, you know. It just took over and there's no flu anymore. I'm like, wow, that doesn't make sense. Does it, Lisa? She's like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm like, what? How do you guys not see this? It just blows my mind. Blows my mind. I mean, I'm still seeing people around in my life that I don't have to deal with all the time, but they're still wanting to be a part of the drama, the manipulations, the head games, the hurting people. You know, getting off on hurting people is just absolutely disgusts me. And I did react one night a little bit, but not as bad as I could have or I would have when I was younger. And I had to step back and go, this is all bullshit. And it's ridiculous. I refuse to participate. And I hope you guys get it and refuse as well. Do not get the jab. You guys, anybody who's gotten it, I'm literally, I don't. There, there is an old man at the gym and he's sweet and he lives alone and he goes to the gym three days a week and he wants to talk and he always gets in my space. You know, I always have my boundaries. And I'm thinking, God. And I asked him, I said, So, Ron, did you get it? Oh, yeah. I got both. <laughs> I'm like, Oh God, stay away from me because there is obviously some kinds of a transmission going on here, you know. I mean, it's been poo-pooed. Of course they're going to poo-poo it. And even if you talk about it, your videos get taken down, which should tell everybody that it's true, you know. But I wanted to share that with you guys, show you that it is possible that those can be put in your bate. And that wasn't even the route I was going today. I was watching a video of uh, an amazing comedian from the UK who oddly died in 2014, who made a video called One by One, and <clears throat> it was all about the depopulation agenda that we're living in right now. And I was so impressed, so impressed. So I wanted to share that with y'all, and um, maybe this video will wake up at least one person, and you, that one person will see things for what they really are. And I want to tell you guys again, I did that video about, you know, low frequency, low vibrational emotions. You live it, you're going to attract the parasites. And you don't want to attract the parasites. All right? All right. TTFN. Have a wonderful day. Love everybody. Bye-bye.